Yeah, just, just say nice and relaxed. I'll just take a bit of video as well. So, just uh, the spoons being buried and the shafts just up to the tape. So, we don't want to draw the hands through too high. We want to drop the spoon in and then a straight draw through. Okay, just relax. I'm going to do the same as I did with Andrew. We just, I'm going to call strike, then over, then row. Went on my call. Strike, over, row on. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Strike. Over. Row on. Strike. Over, row on. Strike, over, row on. That's good depth with this side. It's only just a little bit up past the tape, so that's fine. Your shins are vertical, that's fine. I can see that you, when you start your work through the water, uh, your shoulders are steady, arms are straight, so that's good. Just um, trying to make sure that the spoons are going in at 90 degrees, so just might need to shuffle your hand around on the oar to make sure that when you roll the wrist over, the spoon is at 90 degrees. Strike. Over. Row on. Strike, over, and rest. We'll just start. Nice and steady into the front end. Strike, over, row. Strike, over, row. Stay nice and relaxed. Strike, over, row. I can see it's a nice light grip on the, the handles because your fingers aren't uh, gripping it tightly, so it's good. Just uh, when the spoons go in the water, we don't want to raise the handles too high. Is that a little bit? Yep, that's good. And strike. And rest. Very good. Arms nice and straight for as long as possible. Nice relaxed grip on the handles. And just have a peek out um, and have a look how deep your spoons are going. We only want it down to the tape. Um, so keep it relaxed. Yeah, so just figure out your hand heights. That's better with the legs and the knees. Just that little bit 
in and also the arms are a little bit higher so that's making it a bit better. That's not too bad. Relaxed grip on the handle and through the drawer just in the fingers. On the recovery just feel that really light grip. And strike there and rest and just check the boat on the uh, left hand side on the bow side just check the run so square it up a bit put the brakes on I just want to straighten it up a bit okay and back to safety very good we'll just wait for the city cat wash uh, yeah it, um, it all just happens, you know, just it's time on the water, especially when you haven't rowed for a while. But the actual um, body movements, um, yeah, they're, they're not too bad. Okay, so just, uh, again, it's important not to leave the spoon, let the spoons leave the water when the wash goes through. So uh, just uh, keeping, relax control, relax control. Okay, uh, Andrew, if you just give it a... Oh, no, not yet. We'll wait until the water settles down. Okay, just give it a touch on your right-hand side. And, uh, yep, that'll do. Back to safety. Um, Jeff, I'll get you to keep rowing so we can do some strike over rows. So come forward. Attention. Row. Strike, over, row. Stay relaxed, stay loose. Just really re relaxed and loose. Strike, over, row. So on the over, just keep the knees down. Strike. Over, row. Nice and relaxed. Strike. Over, row. Strike. Over, row. When the water improves, I'll, um, Andrew, I'll get you to join in. Um, it's probably best if uh, we run the spoons along the water on the recovery forward. So, um, uh, Jeff, if you can just, uh, yeah, that just helps the balance at this early stage. So, um, and the water's not great, but if we run our spoons along the water, it'll help. Okay, so Andrew, if you just join in when you're ready, um, so let the spoons run along the water. Safety, safety, okay, back to safety, 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 yeah, okay, that's, yeah, it, uh, I'm going to take it the order, so always spoons on the water, attention, row, push, again, that's nice, relaxed uh, fingers on the spoon, uh, on the handles, I can see that, uh, that's good. The shafts are just going a little deep, but the water's not great. Just row a little lighter on your left hand, um, so that the boat might just come around a little bit. I mean, the wind's blowing it across the river. When you're watching the video, at the finish, I think uh, um, we need to move your body a little bit further forward so that the handles are a bit closer to the body. Uh, and uh, yeah, your hands come in to the rib cage. But that's not too bad. Okay. 
strike and wait for my uh, order. Attention, row. It's all right. It takes a couple of strokes to get it all together. And again, uh, keeping it nice and relaxed. Nice controlled grip on the spoon, on the handles. Shitty water. Just keep it relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. That's because uh, we're quite over at 90 degrees. So when you have a look at the video, you'll see that those couple, the spoons weren't going in at 90. So you just need to um, uh, roll the wrists over, roll the handle in the spoon in the fingers, roll the handle in the fingers till we get to 90 degrees. And strike and rest. Okay, attention, row. So the shins are good, they're vertical. We're going across the wind, so it makes it a, a bit worse. Uh, Andrew, that right oar is under the water a bit. Just tip it a little bit, and but keep our upward pressure on your handles so that both spoons stay on the water. I think that position's okay, Jeff. Um, I think you just need to pull them a little closer to the body at the finish. And again, it's just shit house water. But when you row gentlemen's hours, that's the price you can pay. Yeah. And easy there. And rest. Yeah, I think, um, you know, if the conditions were better, I think you'd be finishing in the right position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were down. And easy or there. And rest. So you heard that I said easy, so it was just back to a relaxed uh, position. And um, 